In this tutorial, I'll go over the basics of nodes, such as the node editor and the basic types of nodes. The node editor is where all of your corrections live in the form of nodes. In the editor, you can create new nodes of different kinds and change how they connect to each other. In the node editor, image data flows from left to right. It starts with the source bar on the left. This is the RGB signal from the current clip you have selected in the timeline. On the right is the output bar. The signal from the output bar is what you see in the viewer. To disconnect a node, click the link, then backspace or delete. To reconnect it, drag from a node's input or output and connect it to another node's input or output. When you have a few nodes in the editor, you may find it gets cramped. You can zoom in and out either by scrolling while holding the Alt key, dragging this slider, or right clicking and clicking zoom in, zoom out, or zoom to window. A node can contain any correction. Any change you make to any of the controls below the timeline is stored in a node. This means that you can use different nodes to make separate precise adjustments to the clip. A node must be connected for it to be enabled, otherwise it won't affect the image. The most common type of node you'll be using is a serial node. Serial nodes connect to each other in series, one after the other. You can create a serial node by pressing the Alt key and S. Or you can go to the menu bar at the top and click Nodes, then Add Serial Node. Each node is numbered, but you can label them by right-clicking the node and clicking Change Label. This can make it easier to see what's going on. It can be easy to accidentally work on the wrong node, so make sure the node you want to work on is selected. When a node is selected, it is highlighted in orange. To select a node, double-click it in the editor. To disable a node, you can either click its number, or you can click Nodes in the menu bar and then Enable Disable Current or you can press the Command and D keys together. To turn off all nodes at once, press the Alt key and D. When you enable all nodes in this way, all nodes will be enabled even if you have disabled them. A better way to do this is bypass all grades. There's a button for this in the bottom left corner of the node editor. Or you can go to the view in the menu bar at the top and click bypass all grades. Or you can press the Shift key and D. This is a quick way to see a before and after and will not enable any nodes you have disabled. If you're unhappy with your corrections, you can go to Colour in the menu bar and choose one of these three options. Reset selected node grade. This will reset the current node you have selected. Reset grades and keep nodes. This keeps all nodes as they are, but deletes any corrections. And reset all grades and nodes, which takes you back to square one. Another type of node is the parallel node. When you create a parallel node, a serial node is also created. To create a parallel node, press the Alt key and P, or go to nodes in the menu bar. A parallel node mixes any connected nodes equally. This can be used for the selective colour lock. For example, I've used a window to key out the lights and boosted the saturation to 100. On the other node, I've set the saturation to 0. Minus 50 saturation and 50 saturation equals 0. If I hadn't boosted the saturation on the top node, the output would still have been black and white because the parallel node mixes nodes equally. Thanks for watching this tutorial on nodes in DaVinci Resolve.